Hey guys, it's John from Ride Tech, and this is your Ride Tech Tip of the Week. Today, guys, I want to give you some basic tips on how to assemble one of our air compressors. Again, this is pretty straightforward. As you guys can tell, the head of the compressor is clearly marked exhaust. This is where the air supply will come from the compressor and into your tank. On the intake side of the compressor, you'll want to install the air filter. This keeps debris out of the head of the compressor. When you receive the compressor, you'll also receive this small bag of parts. These parts are used on the exhaust side of the compressor to ensure that the heat sink, which is this piece of tubing here, will actually dissipate the heat so that the airline itself does not melt. Apply a small amount of thread sealant to each end of the threaded pipe. Install the threaded pipe into the exhaust port of the compressor. With the threaded pipe installed, install the air filter. Use a 9 16 wrench to tighten the fittings down. Included in the compressor kit are going to be three rubber isolators and three brass inserts. First, Install the rubber isolator onto the foot of the compressor and then press in your brass insert. Do this for all three. With the rubber isolators installed, it's now time to move on to the airline. The airline must be cut straight to ensure a proper seal inside of the fitting. Use a tubing cutter to cut the end of your tube. If you use tools like scissors, pliers, or tin snips, you're going to crush the end of the tube and it won't seat properly in the fitting. I want to give you guys some examples of how the tubing should not be cut. When you cut it with pliers, you smash the tubing and you don't always get a straight 90 degree cut. The same with scissors and tin snips. With a nice straight round cut, it will install in the fitting on the end of the compressor. You have a nice tight fit, no air leaks. Guys, it's pretty straightforward. There's just a few things to remember. Make sure your airline is cut straight, your fittings have thread sealing on them, everything is tightened down, and that you put the filter on the intake side of the compressor. Guys, we appreciate you watching. And as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us direct at 812-481-4737. Thanks.